You're watching another Raw Instinct commentary. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Smacks here, bringing you your up-to-date Modern Warfare 3 information and news. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button to stay up-to-date with all of your Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 news. So tonight, we're going to be talking a little, bit, a little bit about the leaked Call of Duty Elite trailer. It has been confirmed and it has been leaked um, about... I would say 45 minutes ago, the actual trailer has been leaked. And keep in mind, this is um, on Memorial Day. The official trailer from what we heard um, from JD2020 on Twitter should be released on Tuesday, the 31st, the day after Memorial Day, which by the time you're watching this, it's most likely Tuesday. But uh, tonight, it has been le uh, leaked on some Machinima Director's um, channel. I, I really don't know his name off the top of my head. I'll be linking it in the description below. But the trailer itself got um, flagged and taken down by Activision about 15 minutes ago, uh, 15 minutes ago which is uh, you know a pretty bummer because um, a lot of people were watching it at the time. I mean, it has been getting thrown around on Twitter a bunch. And I'm going to give you guys a quick breakdown and a synopsis of what it is if you guys have missed the trailer already or the little um, three-minute, four-minute video. So, I mean, it was put together really nicely, but a, a quick breakdown of what Call of Duty Elite is going to be is basically a Bungie.net. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's um, basically a website that you guys are going to be able to go to. And from what we know, you're going to be able to access it from your mobile device, uh, the internet, and from, from other Android devices and iPhone devices. But what you're going to be able to do is go to the site itself. You're going to have your own account. And keep in mind... Um, this is going to be a premium service, which we don't know how much it's going to cost yet. And this is the big problem a lot of people are having is this, you know, pay to play service or pay um, pay for content service. And please keep in mind, guys, you're not going to have to pay to play online for Modern Warfare 3. You can absolutely play the game have, like have you been playing um, all the rest of the Call of Duty games. You're not going to have to pay for the online servers and this online games. What you're going to be paying for is a virtual account on, on their website. And what that's going to do is give you access to a lot of... Um, I guess a lot of good things. If you guys want to think of it like that, you're gonna have heat maps, recent games. You're gonna be able, um, you're gonna be able to upload clips, maybe full videos to YouTube. I do not know the full details on that yet, but it's gonna give you breakdowns like on heat maps, what guns you do well with, and things of that nature. It's almost like a combat record um, that's gonna be thrown online, and it's gonna be expanded a bit more. So the, once again, the real big problem that a lot of us, uh, uh, a lot of us uh, that are having with the service itself is it's a pay-to-play service or a pay-for-content service. Now we do not know how much it's going to be as of yet. They did say it's going to be cheaper than things like Netflix, which are I think seven ninety-nine a month. But once again, Netflix is a service that is by far very well worth it. And this service here, I mean. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost, and I'm not sure if I'm going to pay for it myself. I think the max limit I'd pay for this kind of type of service is maybe like $2 a month or something like that. And please let me know in the comments if you'd be willing to pay for it, if it's like a dollar to a month, and if it's like over it. And just let me know if you'd be willing to pay. And I already know a lot of you guys are really um, raged about this, and I am too. I mean, I really don't like the idea of having to pay for this type of website um, or type of content um, you know, service subscription. And... To me, really, I just don't see anything that really stands out for it. I mean, Halo had Bungie.net, and that what it, that's what it basically is. It gives you um, a breakdown of all the maps, where you die the most, um, guns that you do well with. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing out some other things. You're going to be able to upload videos onto there, and I think you're going to be able to upload them to YouTube. I know I'm missing a few um, small facts, but that's what it basically is. And for me personally... I don't see anything really um, game-breaking with this feature. I mean, EA has been offering it for free for some of their Battlefield games, and Halo has been offering it for free for ages. So please let me know what you guys think about that in the description below. I just wanted to let you guys know a few updates about Call of Duty Elite. It has been confirmed. I'll be linking you guys articles in the description below to um, on some things you can read up on. And it's very basic. Once again, it's just a pay um, pay to play account. I guess that you're going to be able to go online and access features. Um, you're going to be able to access um, very excessive stats. Um, you're going to be able to break down all the stats that you have. And once again, I'm probably not going to be paying for it. And the biggest problem that I'm really having, also, and I think a lot of other people are having, is, you know, I'm sure for the YouTubers that are you know that are getting paid and stuff, and people who have stable jobs, and people you know who are a bit older that actually 
once again have a job that they that have steady income, you know, it's probably no problem that they can pay a few bucks a month. But for a lot of us, I mean, there's a lot of people probably under the age of 17 that are on YouTube that are in the Call of Duty community that just can't pay for it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Call of Duty Elite. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a rating. If you really did enjoy it, please favorite it. And once again, click that subscribe button above to stay up to date with all of your Modern Warfare 3 information, guys. It's Max. I'm signing out. Call of Duty Elite has been confirmed. Peace.